Welcome everyone, it's Andrew here from Apple Insider, and this is a great video for you guys to be hanging out with. We are going to be looking today at this. This is iPad OS 14, running on the brand new 2020 iPad Pro. Now Apple has packed a ton of new features into this update, but we're going to be looking specifically today at how the Apple Pencil works with a new feature called Scribble. Now, if Scribble sounds a little bit familiar to you, you may think of it from the Apple Watch. Scribble has been on the Apple Watch for a little while now, allowing you to use your finger to create words and effortlessly type without having to use dictation or your voice. Now, Scribble come to iPad, and it is very similar. You can use your Apple Pencil to write words, which will be instantly transcribed into text. And there's a lot more you can do with it. So let's go ahead and dive in and check out Scribble on iPad with iPad OS 14. So here we are with our iPad Pro, our Apple Pencil, and of course, iPad OS 14. The first thing we're gonna do is jump into the Notes app. Now, by default, it's gonna bring up the keyboard, but if we go ahead and minimize this and just tap that screen with our Apple Pencil, you can see our Apple Pencil toolbar comes up and we can start using this to take notes rather than the keyboard. Before we get to actually writing with the Apple Pencil and using Scribble, let's go ahead and tap on this little ellipsis here and go into Pencil Settings. This really just jumps us into the actual Settings app where you can do things like change the control of the tapping gesture between the tool and the eraser, the tool and pass tool, and the color palette, or just turn it off. But really, we wanna focus on this new option here, which is Scribble. So with this option turned on, you can actually write and convert everything that you write into text. So let's go ahead and go back to the Notes app first before exploring other uses for Scribble. So let's go ahead and write a quick sentence here. How about just this is Scribble. Now I don't have the best handwriting, but it was still easily able to get that piece of text. Now we can go ahead and tap on this little return icon down here, so we don't have to pull up the whole keyboard, we can just bring that up. So, it is so easy to use. Now of course, we still have a typo here, and you can just scratch on that just to go ahead and remove that text. That's another new feature of Scribble. Anytime you want to erase a piece of text, just go ahead and scribble right over top of it, and it's gone. Let's add another line of sentence back there. Um, how about, I love Apple Insider. So, love Apple Insider, and this is cool. You can actually circle a piece of text to go ahead and highlight it. So you can be one word, multiple words, then you can take and drag that piece of text around, or just go ahead and remove it, and the A, completely. Now, Scribble isn't just useful for within the Notes app. Obviously, you can write text there, but that's not the only place that Scribble comes in handy. Really, it comes in handy anywhere there's a search field on your iPad. So let's go ahead and pull this down, accessing our search here. I can go ahead and get rid of the keyboard, and how about we try looking for, um, you know what, let's not do that one. How about we do Mythic Quest, one of my favorite Apple TV shows. And then we have our toolbar down here at the bottom again. We can pull up the full keyboard, get into those settings, uh, undo, redo, or in this case, just search. So we're gonna go ahead and search for Mythic Quest, where we immediately have our option to jump right here into the TV app and play Mythic Quest. So a really easy way to go ahead and enter any of those search fields. And it works everywhere, so not just within the system there, but if we go back to Safari, here we are on Apple Insider's website. I'm gonna tap the search icon at the top right hand corner, and right in the search box, I'm gonna search for, how about, HomeKit. It's gonna convert that to text, tap on search, boom, I'm on my way. I can find all the new HomeKit news, the latest episode of HomeKit Insider Podcast, uh, Eve Cam information, everything that we've written recently about HomeKit. So anywhere there's a search bar or a text field in the OS, you can use Apple Pencil now to type right into it. Here we are on the Apple website trying to make an order, and I can just fill all this out by hand. Andrew, O'Hara, and I can go about putting in my address. And if there's a typo, just scratch that out, O-H-A-R-A. -A. And boom, my information's entered. I can fill it out. It is so fast and easy to do just using the Apple Pencil. So that's it. That is Scribble on iPad with Apple Pencil and iPad OS 14. Apple has been working with handwriting recognition for some time now. Before Apple Watch, way back when, it even premiered on a device called the Newton, if you guys remember that one. And that one was ahead of its time, allowing you to use a stylus to a 
predated Apple Pencil to write right on the screen of the Newton to take notes, create calendar appointments, and all of that. Obviously, Apple Pencil, iPad OS, and the iPad itself are far more capable than the Newton ever was, but it's definitely come a long way. We are so excited for you guys to get your hands on iPad OS 14 when it launches this fall. Let me know down below in the comments or reach me directly on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Let me know what you think of Scribble and how it's going to change your life with the iPad. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.